we're going to cover how to do regression and in particular if we have for example some data I'm just going to put this as X and Y and let's say we just have some points like this okay uh, just a few points and uh, what we want to do is maybe just fit a line through this okay and be able to calculate the slope um, okay so the slope is going to be right here maybe the intercept okay and then maybe um, you know the r squared value as well so we're going to run through uh, this example exercise in Python and uh, I'll just show you how to set that up and to be able to fit a line we'll also cover how to fit you know maybe a, a polynomial as well um, in Python okay so I'm going to go ahead and just um, open up uh, IPython notebook. I just installed the Anaconda. Um, okay, it's going to open up a uh, web browser here. I'll just go to Python notebook and I'll just do a new Python 2 uh, notebook. Okay, so what I want to do first of all is um, go ahead and click on the untitled there and uh, this will be, I'll call this polynomial. Okay, and then um, what I'll do first of all is go ahead and just import uh, NumPy. Okay, so you can either do from, uh, from NumPy uh, import all like this. Okay, or you can do another way is you can do uh, import uh, NumPy um, as MP. Okay, so either one of those will work. And then if you choose to do uh, as NP, uh, you can just define, like for example, an array like this. If you do it the other way, the top way, then you just do, uh, you leave off the NP. Okay, so I'm going to just leave off the dot, MP dot, okay, and do, um, do it like uh, this. Okay, so then I can define an array. Okay, so what I'll do is just define my data here. Um, and I'm going to put parentheses around this and then I'll just do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, another way is to do lin space as well. I'll just do um, array for now and assign that to be uh, x equals that array. Okay, so that's just between 0 and 5. And let me do another one, which is going to be my data. This is going to be my y data. Okay, so I had points at, at between 0 and 5. And so my first point is 0, and then 0 0.8. Okay, I'll just go ahead and fill in the numbers, um, just some sample numbers here. Okay, so there is my x and y data. Okay, and then I can just run this one, and um, I can, for example, print x, okay, and that'll just show me the x, or I could do print uh, y as well. Okay, so there's my data. I just verify that those are, are there. Now, um, what I want to do now is uh, do a, uh, a fit. Now, I can use the polyfit uh, function, but I'm going to, first of all, uh, I'm going to need to import a scipy package to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do from scipy dot interpolate uh, and I'll import all of the uh, functions there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and import that and then I'll do p1 equals polyfit. Okay, that's as part of that uh, package and I'll just start off with a, a linear um, one first of all let me just print uh, p1 okay so p1 uh, that's going to show me my uh, slope and my intercept um, and let me um, just plot this data just so we can see the um, the fit and also the data okay so to do that I also need to import a map plot uh, lib and I'll import uh, pyplot. Okay, and uh, when I do that, then I'll have uh, the ability to plot. Um, I'll do X and Y, and I'll just make those uh, circles. 
Okay, and then um, let me also plot. Okay, I'm going to do. Um, I want to plot this fit as well. Okay, actually, I'll just go ahead and run this one. Okay, and then when I do show, um, actually, one other thing I need to do. And if you're just in IPython, this is, you only need to do this in IPython, not if you're just doing it in the script. But in order to get it to show inline, you have to do this command: uh, matplotlib inline, and then I'll go ahead and do um, show. Okay, and that looks like it did not um, show. I, I think I maybe needed to do this before. Okay, so let me move this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'll rerun everything. Okay, so there's my um, there's my data. I just needed to do the uh, matplotlib inline before I did this. Uh, plot function right here. Okay, but now I want to see the. Um, let me go ahead and just uh, get rid of that show there. Uh, maybe I want to see the linear fit um, along with the. Um, I want to see the linear fit along with the data there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do a plot, um, and we'll do. Um, now I need some sample values. Okay. Um, Let's see, I'm just going to do the x values and then poly val. And so this evaluates um, these polynomial coefficients at the values of x. Okay, so here is my uh, plot. Okay, and, uh, and then let me actually include uh, this other plot that was before plot x and y. And then I will do the circles. And then for this one, we'll do a red line. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and reevaluate that. Okay, so there's my uh, linear fit uh, with my, my data there as well. Okay, um, so that is one way to uh, fit a line. I had my, so just to summarize, I had my data. Um, I use this uh, from SciPy interpolate. I use this polyfit function, and then I just plotted it uh, using the matplotlib. Uh, don't forget the inline if you're using the IPython notebook, and then I plotted the data, and then I plotted the data with the line as well. Let's just do one uh, one more thing here as well. Um, we'll also do maybe a, a, a quadratic. Okay, so polyfit, and then x and y and two. Okay, so this is going to be a, a second order. Uh, we'll also do a polyfit uh, third order or a cubic as well. Okay, so if I evaluate those, um, so I'm going to print, for example, let's just do P1. Um, and when I print P1, I can see the slope and the intercept. And when I print uh, P2, um, then I see the uh, coefficients um, for the quadratic. And the same thing with uh, P3. I'm just going to have one more coefficient there. Okay, so that's, those are the, um, that's the polynomial, uh, the terms in front of the um, x, x squared, x cubed uh, terms. Okay, so um, if I want to look at those values as well, okay, then I'm going to um, you know, replicate what I did here. Okay, let me go ahead and just move this one down, down to the bottom, um, and let's just evaluate this um, for the other ones as well. Okay, so P2, and I'll make that a uh, a blue uh, dashed line, and then plot one more of the cubic one as well and uh, we'll do that one as a magenta uh, line okay um, okay so there are the uh, values now you say well wait a minute this kind of looks uh, disjointed that really doesn't look like a cubic okay so one thing that we can do is uh, just define a new 
what's called um, a new variable, and we'll just use lin space. So we'll have some equally spaced numbers. I'll just put it between negative two and six and make a hundred of those. Okay, and then instead of evaluating these polynomials or linear fits at x, we'll just evaluate them at xp. So these hundred points, so it makes it look maybe just a little bit less uh, disjointed, a little more smooth there. Okay, so that's, um, that is a uh, tutorial on fitting this. One other thing we needed to do though was to um, also get um, the r squared value. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and just uh, calculate this kind of a manual way, then I'll show you how to calculate it another way as well with a built-in function. So I'm just going to get, first of all, I'm going to just calculate, um, I'm just going to go ahead and calculate, uh, in this case, all um, the fit value, okay, um, times x, and then plus p1, okay, so there's my um, fit, uh, and I'll go ahead and print that, so this is the predicted um, these are the predicted values, whereas um, if I also print um, y, okay, and then these are the actual values. Okay, so there's my linear fit versus my, um, my actual values, and then I want to compute an r squared uh, for those. So let's just compute a residual, okay, and that's going to equal y minus y fit. And then uh, I'll get the um, the residual, the sum of squared of the of the residual. So I'm going to go ahead and do sum, and then I'll do a power of y residual uh, squared. Okay, and then uh, I'll do the the uh, sum of squared total. Okay, and that's going to be equal to the length of y. Um, and then this will be times uh, the variance of y. Okay, and then uh, r squared is going to be 1 minus, let me go ahead and change the name of this, um, that'll be the total, um, the residual sum of squared, and then the total. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and print um, rsq as well. Okay, so there's my r squared value uh, for this uh, fit right here. That's the red line. Okay, another way to do this is you can also import um, from SciPy. You can do a stats import. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and just get the slope, the intercept, um, the r value. Uh, the p-value, um, and then the standard error, okay, and we'll use the linear uh, regress, uh, linear regression function. Okay, just put in our x and y data there, and then I want to be able to also print um, the r-squared value. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and print, um, in this case it's going to be power again, r-value, uh, squared, okay, and then just print that. Okay, and it gave me the same uh, r squared value. It also gave me the p value. Um, so if I print um, you know, p value, um, so there it is. Okay, so you can also use this built in linear regression function as well. Um, now, if I want to take this script and, and use it for later, I can download um, this script as, uh, for example, a Python file. And if I view this, um, let's see, I could come into my downloads area and look at polynomial. I could run this with, um, for example, in, uh, I could run this, um, you know, as a command line as well. Okay, so um, actually I think I probably need to take off that inline thing there. I'll edit it with IDLE. 
Okay, looks like it just still wants to run it. Okay, so it looks like I need to configure something there um, to open it up. I may have changed the configuration there. Okay, so back to IPython, back to my uh, notebook. Um, we did the linear regression, did a quadratic and cubic um, as well, and then um, also computed the R squared.